Well, after numerous calls for removal during the last legislative session, the Council on American Islamic Relations, or CARE, was left off the latest round of appointments for a state hate crimes panel. This comes as the director, Zainab Chowdhury, faced backlash for comments about the Israeli-Hamas war. Dennis Valera spoke with Chowdhury today. He's on your corner in Catonsville. Zainab Chowdhury says she chose not to reapply for the Hate Crimes Commission and that she will continue to work with the commission in any way she can, especially through her work at CARE, which is tracking higher trends of discrimination against Muslim and Arab Marylanders. After lawmakers pushed for her removal, CARE Maryland Director Zainab Chowdhury was not one of the names on the newest list for the Attorney General's Commission on Hate Crime Response and Prevention. She says the backlash she faced and the new laws and policies for the commission had her worried she wouldn't be able to help her communities. It was really important for me personally to be able to be in a space where I can continue to advocate unapologetically for my communities without potentially facing censorship. Which she says are facing more hate than ever. CARE Maryland says in the first half of 2024, there have been 413 anti anti-Muslim and anti-Arab incidents and reports on track to beat 2023 numbers. Nationally, CARE has tracked more than 4,900 complaints. Many incidents involved students who took part in demonstrations and campus encampments. I've had my own classmates, friends, and community members doxxed on websites. We have had counter-protesters shout verbal assaults and death threats to us at rallies, often with children present. Incidents of anti-Semitism have been on the rise. In April, the Anti-Defamation League reported nearly 8,900 complaints in 2023, the highest number since the ADL started tracking this. Chowdhury says she'll continue to work to fight this and other forms of discrimination as well. It's just really unfortunate that we are seeing an uptick in Islamophobia and anti-Semitism and anti-Black racism and so many other forms of bigotry. We are stronger when we work together as a community, when we um, speak up against hate bias, when we stand up for one another. Chowdhury Audrey says this data will help inform legislative goals for the next legislative session. Lawmakers during that session will also confirm 15 of the 25 Hate Crimes Commission members. Reporting on your corner in Catonsville, I'm Dennis Valera for WJZ. I thank you very much.